Hi guys, my name is Vasil, and in this episode, I'm making this. Yeah, that's what I'm making. So, um, what, what is this? What is this thing? Well, uh, it's a bracket. Certainly is a bracket. More specifically, it's a bracket from a 1974 Columbia 45, which I'm currently restoring. This here is the boat currently sitting in the Coronado Bay. And even more specifically, it's a bracket for, you guessed it, a bracket. Yep, I made a bracket for a bracket. That's what I did. Uh, so wait a second, let me get this right. You had a bracket and then you made another bracket for your bracket. Yeah, yeah, that's what I did. That's exactly what I did. Um, let me explain. The Panther outboard motor bracket that I previously mounted on the boat, unfortunately does not have the clearance that I need to mount the motor that's located behind me. The top portion of this bracket was sitting 30 inches out of the water. Here's my Johnson 25 two stroke outboard motor that I'll be mounting to the boat. And this portion specifically is what I'm talking about. This portion is gonna be sitting this part of the bracket so my measurement needs to be from this part of the bracket down until the water the measurement that I'm looking for is 19 inches from where the motor is gonna mount onto the bracket to this plate which is located above the cavitation plate uh, the cavitation plate needs to sit at least in the water I'd like to lower it several more inches so that I can get this plate in the water as well that will give me the maximum performance that I'm looking for when I had previously mounted this bracket, the top portion of the bracket was sitting 30 inches out of the water. The key measurement I'm looking for here is 19 inches. One of the issues I was having is that the stern of this boat or the back is sitting so high out of the water that the lowest point on the stern where I could mount this bracket is still too high for this motor to sit in the water. My solution to this problem is to make a separate bracket which is going to give me another 11 inches of clearance off the stern of the boat going towards the waterline. I just wanted to take a brief moment to thank everyone that's been following my journey so far with this boat. Um, and guys, if you're enjoying this content, please give this video a thumbs up. It really helps me out. Thank you so much. First, let's do some engineering. I'm using Google SketchUp. It's a free program. First, start off with a concept. Then, let's change the design. And of course, obviously, change it again. Finally, after a couple of variations, you might get it right. I'll be using this stainless steel, which I previously had to make a custom bracket for my other bracket. As with anything with this boat, everything's a challenge. I didn't have any stainless steel welding wire, so I had to take a trip about 45 minutes north um, to get some stainless steel welding wire. And I don't have the right welder, so I gotta get that from my neighbor. Okay, welded up the second part bracket. Smells well, like pretty good. Let's go clean it up. I do have to say though, stainless steel is pretty hard to weld. There it is. All right, initial grinding. Both the brackets look pretty good. Obviously not done, but this is the initial cleanup. As the day draws to a close and the sun goes down, I'll have to restart tomorrow morning. Progress. Still very, very much in need of cleanup, but there's still some stuff that I need to weld up. So let's get to that. OK, 
Okay, so bracket is fully welded. Cleaned it up with the wire brush as much as I could. Now it's just ready for some holes and then paint. Mark these holes up. Draw some squares. Stainless steel is an incredibly hard metal, so I'll be using these Milwaukee Cobalt drill bits. Hopefully they'll make my job a little bit easier. Okay, so now that this bracket is done, let me kind of explain how this is gonna work. We have this part of the bracket, which has the same hole setups as the Panther Outdoor outboard motor bracket. Um, this portion is gonna mount to the back of the boat. And then I have several supporting beams that go along to distribute the pressure of this bracket. And then I made a larger second portion, which is gonna mount the Panther motor to this point. Now, the reason there's so many holes in here is I actually gave myself a little bit of leeway just in case I have to adjust that bracket again. This way I have several inches of adjustment to give me the, the drop that I need to mount that motor. This was a labor of love and of course this bracket is made for this bracket right here. So this guy's going to be sitting on the back of that bracket. and. As some of you may have seen on my previous episodes where I mounted that Panther uh, outboard bracket to the back of my boat, that is not fun because the boat is moving and the dinghy is moving. So now I'm in a position where I have to attach the new bracket that I made while at sea to the back of the boat and then attach that Panther outboard motor bracket to that bracket. That is going to be so much fun. Finishing this bracket was a really nice feeling because this is the first thing I've actually built for this boat. Now up to this point, I've pretty much just torn stuff left and right off this boat and there's plenty more of that to be done with this boat as it's in dire need of repair. But hopefully you guys have a good preview of some of the things I'll be building in the near future and it just feels good to build for once instead of destroy. And of course, now that the motor is gonna be sitting lower in the water, I'm gonna to need to make a ladder to get to my bracket to get to my motor. So guys, please stay tuned. I'll be making a ladder so I can get to this bracket from the back of the boat in the next coming episodes. Thank you so much for watching.